So let's look at the next task on your to-do list. It's asking you here, for each area of the site, could you let me know the number of plots and potential income? So this is going to be another query. And the clue for this one is because they're asking to find out how many plots there are and income, this is going to be an aggregate query. So we're still going to create the query in the same way as before. And thinking about the table we need, we can get this information actually from the same table as before, exhibitor plots. If we open it up just for a moment, you will see that we're going to have the plot, all the plots. That's fine. We also know the cost if they're all, um, if they're all booked, and we've also got the area. So we need the this table in order for us to do the aggregate query. So if you remember, for the query, we have to go to create, and then we're going to click on query design, and we're just going to click on the exhibitor plots table because that is the information that we need. So how are we going to tackle this? Well, it does ask us to group on area, so it seems sensible to click on area as to the first field. Now, if we run this right now, we can see it's just got a long list of all the areas attached to the plot number. So that obviously is not quite right. If we go up the top right hand side and click on totals, do you see here now you have this extra line to put in, it's got total and here it's got group by. So let's have a look at this and see what happens. And now it certainly has grouped by the three areas, but still we need more information. We need to know how many plots are in each area. So you've got to think about which field could we bring down in order for you to be able to do that. Well the easiest one is to bring down plot number and it says here group by and if you actually click on that group by that white box you get more options. Click on that and you'll see that you can group by we can actually count. Let's have a look and here it's telling us how many plots have been allocated to each area. So, so far, so good. Back to view, design view. Now we have to look at the potential income per area. Every plot has a cost to it. If everybody takes a plot, that is the total potential income. So the field we need is plot cost. And again, we've got group by, click to the right hand side, and we want to sum that. We want to add it all up. Let's have a look, let's run it again. And remember what I'm doing here is I'm just doing it step by step. Try the first thing, run it. Second thing, run it. Third thing, run it. So here we have, this is it. We've got the food hall, there's 20 with the sum, the total potential income, marquee and outdoor. Now, the only thing I don't like here is I don't like this count of PL, whatever it is, sum of plot. That doesn't look very good, especially if you're printing it off. So how we can amend that is go back into design view. And if I click on plot number and if I actually click on right click and go to properties, if you see here on the right hand side, there's a section here for caption. If I was to actually type in here num number of plots, let's call it that, and let's run that and see. Do you see now that that has changed into a more acceptable heading? Same here, sum of plot, that really we want to call that potential income. So let's go back and change it. Click on design view, click on plot costs. The property sheet is still up from the last time. The caption this time is going to be potential income. Let's run that. Now that looks better. So we have done the aggregate query. We have grouped by area. We have counted the number of plots and we have calculated the total potential income um, per area. In fact, if I just wanted to stretch that, you'd get the full heading in there. And then all you'd have to do after that is print it off. So that is how you do task four on your to-do list.